and the excellence that they've been producing. 25. The Ferrets looking to carry on a remarkable start to 2020. And then we have his 25. opponent. 25. An Aussie, Jew, Aussie dude with a, a great attitude. And joining me, Chris Murphy, in commentary is, well, an Aussie dude who had a questionable one when he used to play. 25. Good evening, Paul. Good evening, indeed. And I hope everybody's enjoying their Sunday's entertainment. 25. Cup at, or something a little bit stronger and enjoy this one because I think this could be rather good considering what's gone before with these two. Outside. By the way, for everybody who asks this question on social media, this is why they don't show the bullseye on TV on the 25. stage. 25. Damon's because it the can go on for some time. Eventually. Damon to throw first. Damon Hetter gets the advantage of throwing first in this final. And well, what a run he's had, Paul, to get here, beating uh, a who's who in professional darts on the way here. 43. Yeah, it hasn't been a bad day for Damon's confidence, that's for sure. I mean, there are certain times when you get to a, a final of a tournament and you think, OK, let's just get this thing won. But if he looks back, 100. he's going to see some of the greats of the game and he's dust. Quite astonishing. And we seem to think it's one of the best runs to a final that we've ever seen. Well, you might watch David Evans in the first round evans has a little bit of 100 reputation in the sport as the challenge to a champion last year but after that Raymond van barneveld mervyn king peter wright dirk van dyvenberde and michael van gerwin yeah not bad it will all seem great if he wins this title and that's what this is all about you got two laid back characters, 100. yes. 100. Doesn't mean they don't want it though, because I know Johnny Clayton does after having two near misses this week. And everybody is going to agree that he deserves it, doesn't he? 140. Yeah, so. You think about Rids getting his first PDC senior title on Friday. He played exceptionally well, but dug himself out of a real hole in the penultimate leg. Johnny Clayton was ready to claim that title. But 100. Cullen and Clayton really did go at it on Thursday. Make no mistake that Clayton just wants to go home to Ponte Berham with another win. 43. And he's on having quite the 2021 as Johnny Clayton. I know we've said it many times, but we'll come back to that in a second. That leaves 61. Bullseye for a first leg 15 dollar. 96. For an early break. Cannot be done now. It went the wrong way anyway. Never go 18s 86. first on 118. Yeah, it was a questionable decision, and I think that Clayton will be kicking himself as he saunters back. Nine scores. But he will be back. When Hedda won that title last year, he didn't play his best game in the final, but he had some very good timing. Double eight for Johnny Clayton. Game shot. And he gets the jump. It's a somewhat unlikely 18-dart break. So maybe some early nerves from both players. Now just to highlight the, the dominance of darts in 2021 from Johnny Clayton. He's got a 90% win success rate so far this season yeah you heard that right and chris murphy is not telling fibs i know we've been working hard for the last four days but that is true 90 percent win rate and i can't remember ever seeing that about anybody else it's quite frightening well that's across the five tournaments that have now been held in 2021 johnny clayton 83 has been in the final of four of them Winning the Masters and losing Players' Championships 1 and 2 in the decider here. Lost in the quarterfinals yesterday, but he's, well, restored order this evening. 39. Have you ever seen the film Moneyball? About baseball's Oakland Athletics. Not one that instantly uh, returns to my memory, if I have. Watch it. But... There was a sign from one of the crowd when they were on this huge run of winning so many baseball games. We may never lose again. Well, 
I tell you what, if Clayton wins this title, 85. he will feel that way. Well, let's not forget the UK Open is just around the corner as well, and Johnny Clayton must be going in there as the most confident player in the field. Now, many would have thought that would be Gerwin Price, but Price has had a, a winless couple of days in terms of tournament wins here. A couple of bad results and revealed that he'd been struggling with an ear infection and had to head home, so he's not going to be at full fitness. Michael Van Gerwen has had a, a poor week by his standards, and Johnny Clayton is just Game flying. Shot. And he flies into a two-leg lead early on here. Do ferrets fly? This, this one, one is. does. They said in unison, Johnny Clayton, well, there is much to admire about his attitude and about his talent. He does 97. Oh, Damon Hetter won as well, doesn't he? You think about the head, the head record. It's very close, but you think about the match that they had at the World 60. Cup where, of course, Johnny Clayton lifted the trophy with Gerwin Price. In the singles, when Wales played Australia, it was Damon Hetter that beat Johnny Clayton to keep them in the World Cup. I think Johnny Clayton will remember that match, but only a small percentage of his brain will because the other majority of his brain will be thinking, oh, that's a nice looking medal. That's a lovely looking 60. trophy. I'll ask you a question, Paul. How much do you think that World Cup win where he was partnered by a guy who proved to be the best player in the sport last year and now is ranked as the best player in the sport, how much do you think that win has 94. been a platform for what has followed for Johnny Clayton? I don't think it's an accident that he's done great things since then. I think winning has become a bit of a habit for Johnny. And I think he's very comfortable winning now. He's starting to take his practice game to the match board. And if you think about point zero of where this confidence has come from, it has to be the World Cup because... When he first graced that tournament, he was uncomfortable. And he's turned into a winner in that event. And since then, he's 100. got better. Yeah, well, he has four titles of his own, aside from the World Cup win with the Iceman Price. Is he going to make it five? Two out of the three in this combination for Damon Hetter. 72. It's not a combination he can complete, and Clayton could steal this leg if he can produce a gigantic checkout. Not to be. No, not to be. He looked to set up double 18, maybe, or even double 8. Hetter went for the tops route because the 60 he hit, the flight was in the way of the single 20. Game shot. Very well thought out because he didn't want to have that silly dart that comes out of the hand too late. Bust the 112. You're better off going 12 tops. And it has paid off. Very good game management there from Damon Header, I feel. Needed a bit of a settler there, I think, as well, because he misses that and Clayton hits all of a sudden. One hundred and seventy. Clayton's in the distance. Well, Header seems to have got his tail up now. They're certainly announcing himself 83. in this final. Damon Hetter has had three finals in PDC darts, a defeat to Gerwin Price after winning his first two. The big one won the World Series before he actually decided to take up the professional tour full time. And he won one at the Autumn Series last year. 140. I think Damon Hetter's getting some heckles from his friends and family back home who I'm sure are probably enjoying some better weather than we are right now but the fact of the matter is Damon Hetter belongs here he belongs on this tour he was always going to make it there are many talents around the world who constantly climb but double 12 for clear no he's hit the wrong bit 135. well I really thought he was going to hit that and all of a sudden, we could have a very different game if this goes, and he's got a shot at double 12. Biggest start of the match. 72. Oh, and he knows that's a big miss. Clayton will fancy this double three now. 
The double that won the final last night for Raymond van Barneveld. Doesn't help Clayton there, but he does like double no one. Score. Can't find it. The last two times I've seen him go for it, he hasn't been close to it. And Hetter is getting more chances than he thought he would. Yeah, he Game couldn't shot. miss that, surely. It was such a great guide. All he had to do was hit the flight and it would just glance its way into the green bit. But as I was rudely puttling at the end of the last leg, he was always meant to be here. Coming through state darts and local darts back in Western Australia. I'd never even 50. met Damon Hetter and I knew of his reputation. 3,000 miles away. That's the thing about darts. It's Even before social media, there was this hustle and bustle 100. around certain players. And they've got this thing in the DPA now where they're playing in zones. Remember a guy called Mitchell Clegg? Yeah, the name does ring a bell. And he played as a kid against Raymond van Barneveld at Circus 140. Tavern. He started playing again. Imagine the gap between playing Barney then and possibly coming back. So I am saying don't forget about 100. Mitchell Clegg and other players who might rediscover their talents once they've settled down in their lives. And Damo has definitely settled where he has chosen to live in the Midlands 140. here in England. Well, Hetter's following the, the Johnny Clayton formula. Clayton has won a title every year since 2017. Won one on the floor then at European Tour title the following year. Another player's championship in 2019, the World Cup, of course, last year, and the Masters this year. And Damon um, Hetter has picked up titles. 131. The World Series one that we mentioned a couple of years ago. And then that player's championship title beating Joe Cullen in the final 82. in Niedenhausen. And now he looks to hit the front here. Tops and he's starting to sharpen up here. I've noticed a pattern with Damon Hetter. Sometimes when he's in these key matches, he has a little bit of a scratchy start and then starts to sharpen up around leg three or four. 41. That is happening here. And I have to ask you this question at this point. The scar tissue with Clayton in finals this week. Can it resurface? Interesting point, but I just will go back to the answer. 43. That Joe Cullen submitted to evidence when he said after beating Johnny on day one, he won't care about losing that match. He's not that kind of person. 100. And perhaps that kind of attitude is what has enabled him to reach the quarterfinal at least every single day and to go the following day and make a final again and then to come back 48 hours after losing that one and again put himself in with a chance of claiming 59. what would be a very, very hard-earned title. Yeah, it's all well and good, earning over £20,000, which is what he has done this week. But he wants to go home and say, I won one of those. Yeah, and I think that your new moniker of Johnny Cash Machine might actually catch on. I've already seen a very interesting animation from someone on Twitter about that. That really did make me giggle, but that 171 from Hetta didn't make Johnny giggle. 95. Oh, no. Well, he got a, a 177 a couple of legs ago, Hetta, and that kind of flustered Clayton a little bit, caused a few misstarts at double, and the 171 seems to have had the same effect. 140. That treble five to leave 165. That's why I was saying, oh, no. And Johnny will be saying, oh, no, because Hetta has had a really good score there of 140 on top of the 171 to leave this shot which is to take a 4-2 lead. Perfectly pitched. Doesn't like that. Just a little grimace from Hetta. Resets. A slight shuffle to the left. Not far. 74. But he can't make the adjustment. Now that dart didn't fly like it should have. It just spiked a bit at the end. Went in a bit slowly. You can see Damon in the background Game shot. chastising himself. And as he should, because it's now 3-3, should easily have been, or could easily have been, 4-2. Yes, the ferret has found his way out of a hole there. And Johnny Clayton. 60. Today, 
started off his run to a third final in four days with a victory against Martin Atkins of Wigan before beating Andy Bolton. 100. Roby John Rodriguez and then Jose de Sousa, who averaged 105 but could not get the better of the Welshman before seeing off Messrs Smith, Michael Smith that is, and Gabriel Clements, a man who he beat to win one of his pro tour titles. I'm going to stick you on the spot now, Murph. Who's going to win the UK Open? 100. Well, I was asked this question early today by Dan Dawson about who were the players to, to watch out for, and you would have to say on form that the two main players to watch have to be Johnny Clayton and Joe Cullen. I'd agree with that. I think there are question marks about Peter Wright. 60. Get him in price, of course, with his ear infection. So we may have to look in some other corridors. You've got a, a dark horse, perhaps not for a winner, but for someone 60. you've seen from the field that's impressed and you think they can take that kind of shock factor to the FA Cup of darts. Yeah, that's what makes it so interesting because the open draw it could be anybody, really. But don't forget about Raymond van Barneveld. Well, what a week it has been 58. here in Bolton. Well, let's have it right. There's been plenty of stories. The consistency of Clayton being one of them. But Cullen winning on day one, following 40. on from winning the last floor title of last year. Then Callan Ridds picking up his very first PDC title. A young gun coming through. And then no bigger story than Barney winning yesterday. 133. Great leave of 132 there from Demo, but I'll just throw one more thing at you. Dimitri Vandenberger has won one game this week. It wouldn't shock me if he won the UK Open. 97. That's an interesting call. And there's an interesting point reached in this leg. Hetter has a chance on 132. I just wonder how difficult that dart would have been to navigate had he found 64. the treble 19. Clayton on a slightly easier out. 15 darts thrown and leaving 104. Things are getting very attritional. Don't give up. 64. Starting to show a little bit of negativity. 56. Both on two darters. And Damon Hetter is looking to hold here. It's been the worst leg of the match. Double 16. Game shot. Yeah, that's a huge dart. <laughs> Just get the feeling that Clayton is waiting for an opportunity to kick on and break, and he's not getting those opportunities. He's not making them for himself. He's waiting on an error. 100. And let's not forget you spoke about a, a war of attrition in this final, that both the finals that Clayton has been involved in this week have gone down to last leg deciders. Yeah, we have been treated to some incredible finals. Getting your money's worth on PDC TV, that's for sure. Yeah, don't forget to make sure that you've subscribed for your weekend pass next weekend for the UK Open. 100. Viewers around the world able to watch the UK Open on PDC TV. UK viewers, of course, will have access to commentary on board two. Live coverage. Oh, that, it will be interesting with, with the sharing of major trophies over the last 12 months. It will be interesting to see which boards which players are put on. More of a dilemma these days than just so oh, we've got three top players or stick them on the main stage and everyone else can go wherever they want. Yeah, I'm glad I don't have that dilemma. Even Phil Taylor wasn't on the main stage all the time in this building. I remember him playing against John Part on board two. Well... Find out in about 93. five days. But, of course, if you aren't already subscribed to the PDC's YouTube page, get yourself subscribed as Johnny Clayton sets up double 16, because if you have missed some of the best games of this week, you can find them on the YouTube page. Yeah, plenty of highlights available. Much of them provided 140 by Johnny Clayton, who sensibly laid up in the previous visits. And he Game ties shot. up in the match four apiece. And it looks like once again, we could well be going the distance in this one. Good shot that, wasn't it? Great camera angle there, just to show how much he sneaked it in off the first dart. I love how he said lay up, because 
Johnny Clayton's a decent golfer. Hasn't played a great deal of golf in the last six to nine months. That's for certain. And he's not going to be playing much golf because he's going to be playing darts in the Premier League in about six weeks. It is March tomorrow. The month of the UK Open is among us. Bring it on. And bring on this final, which is through the halfway point. And there's nothing between them at all. 180. Well, we've waited a while for maximums in this match, but the pair have just exchanged them. Damon Hetter has fired in now 23 60. over the course of this tournament. Head spinning statistics as Johnny Clayton starts to make his move, sets up a 10, but this would be for possibly the best leg of the week. Wow, what a shot, right in the middle. That one is not, and Clayton was scratching his head before that shot at the ball for Demo. Not scratching his head now. Game He's just shot. taking a 10 darter out, and that's what you do to break a throw. Dodge a bullet, and pin that shot immediately. Well, a 9 darter is the best you can achieve in this sport, and we've seen four of those over the four days of action here. One hundred and forty Super Series of the year, but that was a perfect 10 by Johnny Clayton. Got to give Damon Hetter lots of credit there, because... Let's face it, he did have a chance to take that leg in 12. 58. And the only reason he lost it is because Clayton was brilliant. I love to see legs like that. We saw one, the very first leg 100. on this board today, between Matthew Edgar and Dave Chisnell. Chisnell hit two 180s to set up the 141. Then he hit, I think it was 58 or 59 to leave something in the 80s and Matthew Edgar took it 170 for a 12 darter. 140. That was the precursor to what we've seen for the rest of the day. It has been a fabulous day of darts. Really has been a super Sunday at the Super Series. 60. Excellent entertainment. Johnny Clayton, you raise the question, is he making his move? And I think mid-match here, He's kicked on in a way that Hetter had been doing 57. in his previous games. And he just looks like the one who's controlling this game right now. You get the feeling that Hetter is a little bit hurt by not winning that last leg. And that is a 177 to lead double 12. What a recovery. After his worst visit of the leg, he has just put in his best one. Well, what a surge. What a surge by the Welshman. 10 data to break, then it could be followed by a 13 data. 140. Hetter not giving up on this just yet. But he's powerless to stop this march to glory, it seems, by Johnny Clayton. Yes, everybody, if you want to get better and you want to be world class, try and play 5 or 1 this week and try and do it twice in 23 darts. That's what you're up against, everyone. That is ridiculous. 137. 100. Well, a couple of months into 2021, and all of a sudden, Johnny Clayton doesn't look like the apprentice in that Welsh World Cup team, does he? 58. Oh, no. He might have lost that game against Hetta in that quarter final. But he did average 99.87 in that game. Demo averaged 102.25. So it's not like Johnny played poorly. But since then, both of them have kicked on. I wonder if he's going to work tomorrow, Johnny Clayton. 139. I wouldn't blame him if he did, to try and take his mind off four really hard days on the dartboard. The one thing 100. is for certain, it's not like he's going to need the money after the start he's had to this year. No, I don't think so. Demo looking for the 167. He might go for it. Maybe it's a blessing that he didn't hit that 57. 99. 
I assume you just think that perhaps he feels that he needs something to reignite himself in this match to get yeah. himself going 60. again. 60. A little bit of a catalyst can sometimes reignite the adrenaline going through your veins. Well, this will help. Double four. Game oh, shot. That is so good. 14 darter from Demo. And the last three winning legs have been done in 37 darts. One hundred and forty. Good thing that Damon Hetter had that really good quality leg there. Johnny Clayton just seeing that Hetter is not tired. He's not hitting the wall. He's not showing any negativity. One hundred and eighty. His turn to put his foot down. Having seen Clayton race away for a couple of legs, it would have been nice, as you just suggested, 60. Paul, for Hetter to experience a, a comfortable leg. And now. He's launching an assault on his opponent's throat. In your experience of doing all these players' championship events over the last few 60. years, can you think of a harder route than Damon's today? Oh, what a question. What a qu You should write these down and give me 15 minutes' notice before 26. a match starts. But I'm just getting you back. For you put me on the spot plenty of times. Yeah, I mean, in terms of names, possibly not. It is... A remarkable, remarkable run to get to this final. 22. Especially as, like, if you beat Barney a couple of years ago, it's not that big a surprise. But after Barney's just won a title the day before, for, any, for example, the form that Dirk van Dijvenborde was in, the determination that Michael van Gerwen had to win this title today, Peter Wright, the world number three, and Mervyn King has been in fine form for, for months and months now. Yeah, well said. Damon needs to rectify what he's done in the last six darts. Because he hit 22 with two single ones in it. 96. And then Johnny Clayton comes up with a two treble visit to capitalise. He is the favourite for this leg. He still is via that 57. He scored 62. That leaves 86. 80. So he leaves what Damo's just hit. But a 1-4-3 here, this would be a match changer and he's only in this predicament because his last nine darts have come up without a one at the start 59 Johnny Clayton had his eyes prized on the board there as he watched Hetter score 59 he gets himself a dart he takes his chance and Clayton is closing in on what would be a fifth title for him in PDC darts or a fifth solo title at least Quite astonishing when both of these players from different countries 59. are superbly comfortable. They can hit that double 16 with their eyes closed. They could probably hit double 16 through a sieve without hitting the 100. metal. 100. Is Damon Hetter's race run? I wonder. Well, as far as Dart's fitness is concerned, you know who the fitter of the two is because Johnny Clayton has been going deeper on a more regular basis this week. So he has been here twice before, so he'll feel, in my opinion, fitter in this regard. I get the feeling that Damo might 16. be tiring just a little. And the final for performances haven't been fantastic from Johnny Clayton, but you can't say that he's hit the wall because he has been competitive in them. But have gone down to last leg shootouts. Hetter, still running. That was aggressive. You think about the position he was in. 308. He should have gone for the 18s of the last dart, but he was in no mood to lay up or relent there. And the 180 gets him to a finish which he has six darts for. Well, he had no real need to go the 18 route. Left himself double 12. 104. Took the marker by surprise as well. Yeah, it was an accidental double, but he won't mind. Double 12 is one that splits down a couple of times. 100. Get this one in the bank. It's only one break required. Double six. It was good to him earlier. He needed the guide on the previous try. Not this Game time. Shot. It's seven six. This is the biggest leg of the day. 
Try and break it down to make it more manageable. And Damon Hetter just needs one break of throw and one hold to win this title. Johnny Clayton protecting so well after that first start. Oh, the best score he could have hoped for was 1-3-5 after that first start, treble five. And one of this pair on the brink of winning a, a Pro Tour title early in the year. How important is that, Paul, in terms of feeling relaxed for the rest of the events because you're putting yourself in a strong position to make sure you qualify for the TV tournament. Oh, look through the, the history books. Everybody who's done it seems to have a great year. I mean, it was great for Ryan Searle last year. There were players who were doing things like this in February and March, and they made careers of it. Mark Dudbridge, Dennis Ovens, Colin Lloyd. They always used to do it. And with this 200-point lead, you can't see Johnny Clayton letting this go. 140. Letter keeps fighting, but is he fighting a losing battle? 140. Against a man who has been absolutely superb for this entire week. It has been the ferrets four days, hasn't it? He has been the one making the headlines. Apart from yesterday 96. when Barneveld had his day, but Demo thinks it's up, and I think he's right. Clayton to take the title. Game and shot Johnny and Clayton that. does take a well-deserved title. He gets the better of Heta and picks up the title at the third time of asking in a final this week. Three finals out of four. Johnny Clayton is Superman at the Super Series. He won the Masters. He's reached three finals here and winning one of them. 2021 really could be the year of the ferry. He sees off Damon Hetter, an incredible run for him this afternoon, but Clayton will go to the UK Open with an air of invincibility and we'll find out how he's Just feeling now as Johnny Clayton, your winner, has a word with our man Dan Dawson. Johnny Clayton.